Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the fixed end moments in this beam using column analogy method. In this beam there are two loads. One point load 9 kN. It is acting at a distance of 2 meter from the point A. Then we have uniformly distributed load 4 kN per meter. It is acting for the whole span. Length of the beam is 6 meter. We know that in this beam the degree of static indeterminacy is 2. To make this beam statically determinate, let us remove MA and MB. When we remove both of them, this beam will become a simply supported beam. Here you can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. Now let us find the vertical reactions RA and RB in this beam. First, let us find the reaction Ra. For that, I am going to take a moment about B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So, 6 Ra. The load 9 kN is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that it will be negative and the distance is 4. The UDL4 is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it is also negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. Finally for RA we are getting 18 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find RB. Now let us find the bending moment in the point C from the point A. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. So, for the bending moment at C, we will get 28 kN meter. Now, using this value, we can draw the bending moment diagram. Here, you can see the bending moment diagram. We know that in the points A and B, the moment is 0. In the point C, we have found the moment 28. Since there is uniformly distributed load for the full span, the diagram should be in the parabolic shape. Now we have to find the area of this diagram. Since it is a parabolic shape, it is difficult to find the area. In this case, we have to go for integration. To make the integration, we have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So, we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. You can see that I have made two sections. I have made both of the sections at the distance of X from the point A. Now, we are going to find the moments in the sections. I am going to find the moments from the point A. In this case, I have to use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Let us find the moment about the first section. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. So 18x. The UDL4 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. 4 upon 2, it will be 2. x into x, we will get x square. Now, let us find the bending moment in the second section. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x, so 18x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it is negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. The point load 9 is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that it is also negative. For this load, we have to take this distance. 
this distance is x minus 2 we can multiply minus 9 with this term we will get these two terms 18x minus 9x we will get positive 9x now let us find the area for that we have to integrate the movements about the sections for the first section the limit is 0 to 2 and for the second section the limit is 2 to 6 now let us take a calculator and do these two integrations if you do not know how to do integrations in the calculator see the description below you can see the link you can click the link and watch the video i have used the calculator and i have got these two values when we add these two values, we will get 108. We know that in the analogous column, the resultant P is the area of the bending moment diagram just before we have found 108. Now let us find Px bar. For that, in the integrations, we have to just multiply with the x. When we integrate this, we will get 40. For this integration, we will get 272. When we add both of them, we will get Px bar, which is 312. Now, let us make the analogous column. We know that the cross section of the analogous column is 1 upon Ei into L. We know that length of the beam is 6 meter. We know that P is the resultant. The resultant acts at the distance of 2.889 meter from the left. We know the formula to find the stress in the base of the analogous column P upon A plus or minus P E X A upon I Y. To find the stress in the point A, we have to only take the positive sign from the formula. And to find the stress in the point B, we have to only take the negative sign from the formula. Let us find the eccentricity E. We know that the center of the analogous column lies at the distance of 3 meter from the left. It is the eccentricity. We know this distance 2.889 meter. So the eccentricity E is equal to 3 minus 2.889 we will get 0 0.111 meter. Now let us find the moment of inertia. We know the formula to find the moment of inertia. I is equal to B D cube upon 12. Here B is 1 upon EI and D is 6. But no need to consider EI. When we apply the values inside the formula, we will get 18. Now let us find the cross-sectional area of the analogous column that is 1 into 6. We will get 6. Now let us find XA. XA is the distance from the center to the point A. We know that this distance is 6 by 2 so that we will get 3 meter. In this formula we have found everything. Let us apply all of them. We know that for MIA, we have to select the positive sign. 18 plus 2, we will get 20. For MIB, we have to only select the negative sign. 18 minus 2, we will get 16. We have found MIA and MIB. We know that MSA and MSB will be 0. Let us find MA. The formula is MSA minus MIA. We have found MIA and MSA. Let us apply both of them. Finally, for MA, we are getting minus 20 kN meter. In the similar way, we can find MB, which is minus 16 kN meter.